right, listeners, we have a very special Monkey of the Week feature. That's right. We have a live monkey right here in the studio. You know, we always like to do our Monkey Story of the Week. Well, this week's Monkey Story is coming to Wilmington. Uh, Tim Lepard and his cowboy monkeys are here. Tim, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Um, what is, uh, give people a quick rundown. What is a monkey uh, cowboy? You know, this started four years ago here in, at the Blue Rock Stadium when Mark brought us out, and, and we have three dogs and three monkeys. We dress up like little cowboys, and they ride the backs of border collies. We have special saddles built for these dogs, and they round up bighorn sheep. <laughs> it's been wild ever since. Of course they do. Well, uh, uh, that's not a natural thing for these monkeys. They're not, they've never seen bighorn sheep. Of course, they've never been cowboys before either. How long have you been uh, training cowboy monkeys? 36 years. Wow. Yes, sir. And uh, what is this little girl's name who's uh, right here in the studio? This is Bell Star. She was like the biggest feature on ESPN during Sports Center. They had uh, uh, top 10 plays of the week, and she was in the top 10 plays of the week. She was riding a dog named Dot. And. Um, we, it was the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots halftime show. You know, this is a very important question for us at this show. When you put their uniforms on, uh, do they wear pants? Yeah, actually, we just brought her shirt. She she was holding her shirt whenever we come in, but it's not pants or sh no uh, pants. Chaps. Okay. chaps, chaps. Well, chaps. that's good. Right. That's, that's close good. Enough. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, what day are you going to be at the uh, Rock Stadium this weekend? Friday and Saturday at seven o'clock. We're going to turn that place upside down. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to run the rodeo. Well, uh, you know, we have uh, the Caltown Rodeo right down yes, the road I here. Worked it last year. Too. <laughs> oh, okay. So there you go, Monkey Rodeo. This weekend, Friday and Saturday at the Blue Rocks, you get to meet Bell Star and uh, who are the other ones? Sam and Bubba. And uh, they'll round up all the sheep you need. Uh, I don't know if they're uh, available for actual rodeo duty, but uh, boy, this is a sweet looking little girl. On the way here, we were talking about something special this year. You know, this is our third year. Hang on just a second, Tim. We got to do the news. Can okay. you stick around? Yes, sir. All right, we'll be back. Yeah, that's right, culture fans. A very special monkey of the week. We've got Bell Star right here. We have our own monkey for this monkey sh for this show. No monkey shines here. Um, we're with Tim Lepard, who has his cowboy monkeys in town to appear. Uh, is it tonight and tomorrow yes, at uh, the Blue Rocks games? And uh, the deal is, the monkeys ride. They, they, they dress like cowboys. They wear pants they, or chaps. Or yep. chaps. Right. And they ride border collies who uh, have specially made saddles. And they round up some bighorn sheep. Tim, you have a, a whole traveling zoo, don't you? <laughs> this is sitting, you know this, what I this tell, monkey is sitting right on top uh, of Bell's head. It's the, a family. It's all a family. <laughs> you know, we, we, we're, so, we're in such a close net. We're a family. And, and what I was going to tell you right before we went off, I think what we're going to do this year, something special, is uh, we're going to do something with Twitter and uh, maybe build it up to like uh, maybe five, six, seven, eight people the, on the Twitter, something to do with Twitter, and we're going to bring them down on the field and let them – you know, really get close with them. Oh, you know, cool. I've always thought a monkey could use Twitter. It's oh, a fairly it's, simple it's, uh, yeah, right. it's, technology. Uh, I think uh, it, it's turned some of the people who use it into so monkeys. Yeah. On <laughs> there they turn themselves into monkeys. Yeah. Uh, on a, what, what, what's the account on the Twitter on the Blue Rocks? William Blue Rocks. William Blue Rocks. William Blue Rocks. And uh, you'll be bringing some people. It'll be like a meet and greet with, oh, yeah. uh, with the monkeys. You know, and, and, and the fans are so special there. And, and I just thought, you know, I want to I want to give back. And so... This right here is up close and personal. I've never seen this monkey love anybody like this. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a good monkey. Oh, <laughs> she's a good girl. I'm not feeding her. She's uh, no, eating. Po she, she loves just, her pop tarts though. Yeah. She said, "Who's your daddy? Big daddy." Now she's nine years old. You told nine me, and they old. normally live to be in their thirties. Wow. 33, yeah. So uh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Can you hear her? Can is yeah. she coming through? I said, good. We can use these as a real monkey sense because the monkey, <laughs> That's the monkey right. sounds monkey we the usually use segment, are we'll just have, you know, uh, too yeah. screechy. I like the. Uh, she's got a nice soft voice. Yeah. Mellifluous. Um, <clears throat> so does it take a long time to train them to do this? Uh, whenever I first started with her, you know, I I, I wasn't in any hurry. Sometimes, you know, I'm in a hurry to try to get one ready, but I wasn't I wasn't in any, any hurry to train her. And uh, maybe two weeks. Uh, wow. She was riding. I mean, and that's from scratch of uh, not handling her at all, start handling her and just start going straight from probably the first day. But the second, third day was awesome. And then within a week, she was in the arena. 
Now, do the dogs take to it well too? Very, or? really, very well. And they get a kick out of grooming, it. Yeah, you know the dogs like the the monkeys grooming them all the time. And oh. When they're eating the pop tart sitting on the dog, they drop crumbs on them and they reach down there <laughs> and grooming that pop tart out of that dog, and that dog will fall asleep sitting there. <laughs> Yeah, they do love that, I guess. There's uh, the computer. There goes the uh, computer. Yeah, yeah. we're deleting yeah. emails. Right? See, Woman, you're willing to put up with a little trouble for <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, yeah. for an affectionate monkey. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how often are you, are you on the road most of the hey. time? Actually, I got off the plane in November from Las Vegas from the National Finals Rodeo and hadn't been home since. Yeah. Jeez. What's your home base? Uh, Pontotoc, Mississippi. Okay. Tupelo. I tell Down people that... I was born where I was live, and I live where I was, was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're home, where, where do they, you know, you have a bunch of oh, shoot. animals the running around. Facility. That... I'm so proud of it. And, yeah. and, you know, when they get to go home, it's a nine-foot-tall outside enclosure and this vinyl-coated chain link. Uh, they have a swimming pools, ladders, swings, <laughs> and it's so cool to get to see the monkeys get out there and hang out, you know, and, and – uh, play with the babies and stuff what's uh, the big stumbling block to actually trying to keep it's a monkey like a kid that never grows up there you go and you know especially with the paperwork taking care of the papers the shots taking care of these animals uh it's continuously yeah you never you never know what they need you know you always got to take care of them always but i imagine that they're uh they're incredibly affectionate though Ooh. i mean even more than a than a dog or cat they're uh you know, she's... Uh, break she's, your heart. Yeah. Just looking at the facial expressions, they break your heart. She's yeah. leaning her head up against yours, Aww, resting it on it, uh, Well, it's... Like uh, she's going to go to sleep up there. Well, I had some bed bugs in my <laughs> hair, so <laughs> I thought I she could groom them out There's of there. There's two of them that's not going back with you. She just took those. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, uh, this is all with the price of admission to the game. There, You're going to um, have your roundup before the game. Uh, Actually, night. we do a few teasers. You know, we, we, we come out there and let the crowd see them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on the field and off the field in 60 seconds, and then pretty much, you know, uh, the finale is the big show. That's okay. where we get close and personal. All right, and that's after the game? Yes, sir. All right. Well, Tim I, Tim Lepard, I really want to thank you for stopping by. We we thank do you. a monkey story every thank week you. here yeah. on the show, and this is the first time we've had a real monkey well, to do it with. We brought it to life. I sure appreciate <laughs> it. it. She is a sweetheart. I've never been this... Uh, Never been this close to a monkey before. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 say 90 I'm falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> That's another Elvis song. <laughs>